Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Are you excited about SpaceX's upcoming super-class Starship flights? Let's see what awaits. The FAA has just revealed landing data from the prototype spacecraft following Flight 4. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA has completed the public consultation phase regarding SpaceX's proposal launch the Starship rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC. This process ran concurrently with the completion of a comprehensive environmental assessment for SpaceX's 100-acre expansion plan at Hangar X. Both initiatives signify a significant increase in SpaceX's activities, aiming to surpass 140 Falcon 9 rocket launches by late 2024, primarily from Florida's Space Coast. SpaceX's groundbreaking activities at Kennedy Space Center, KSC, are garnering special attention. To address public concerns, the FAA held a series of public feedback sessions on June 12 and 13, along with an online meeting on June 17. The main purpose of these meetings was to gather input on SpaceX's proposal to launch Starship from Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A. The FAA's Environmental Impact Statement, EIS, will evaluate the effects of SpaceX's Starship launch operations on air quality, coastal resources, land use, noise, and water resources. To ensure transparency and comprehensive evaluation, the FAA is conducting a new environmental impact statement for SpaceX's Starship launch activities at Kennedy Space Center. This decision stems from significant changes in vehicle design, operational concepts, and infrastructure compared to the 2019 environmental assessment. Compared to the 2019 proposal, SpaceX's new Starship launch plan is much grander. To meet the planned launch frequency of up to 44 times per year, the infrastructure at Kennedy Space Center will undergo substantial upgrades. This includes constructing a super-heavy booster catch tower, natural gas liquefaction system, air separation unit for fuel supply, and stormwater deluge ponds. SpaceX estimates using approximately 1 million gallons of wastewater per test launch. In terms of design, the Starship will feature up to 9 Raptor engines while the Super Heavy booster will sport up to 35 engines, allowing for more efficient reusability. Under the new plan, the Super Heavy booster will land at Launch Complex 39A instead of the previously proposed LZ-1 area. SpaceX has also proposed three landing options for the booster. At LC-39A, on an unmanned ship, or a controlled ocean landing at least 5 nautical miles from shore. Similar environmental assessment is being conducted by the U.S. Air Force to ensure safety and sustainability for launch operations. Alongside the Starship launch plans at Kennedy Space Center, SpaceX is also advancing the expansion efforts at Launch Complex 37, formerly home to United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy rocket. In the environmental assessment document, Federal Aviation Administration FAA, asserts there is no viable alternative solution to SpaceX's primary proposal, indicating that the only substitute for the proposed action in this document is to not proceed with the project. FAA argues that Launch Complex 39A plays a crucial role in NASA's moon exploration missions under the Artemis program and the human landing system, while also providing site diversity for commercial exploration activities. To meet the increased rocket launch frequency, SpaceX is actively expanding infrastructure at Kennedy Space Center. This expansion plan includes adding 100 acres in the Roberts Road area, initially approved in 2018. The main objective is to consolidate SpaceX's assets in Brevard County into a critical location. This expansion process complies with the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, requiring public consultation from the outset, and again after issuing the draft environmental assessment. After thorough review, Mr. Anchor's office issued a finding of no significant impact in spring 2024, allowing SpaceX to proceed to the next phase. This phase involves establishing a land lease agreement with KSC. Accordingly, SpaceX needs to submit a detailed site plan to NASA, including building sizes and area layouts. This site plan review will identify potential constraints such as land use conflicts, operations, natural resources, visibility, safety, and security, ensuring compliance with the region's environmental assessment. Recently, the Federal Aviation Administration held a public consultation on SpaceX's Starship launch proposal and expansion at Hangar X, underscoring the company's growing footprint at KSC. 
These projects highlight complex factors related to environmental regulations, operations and management, aimed at supporting ambitious launch schedules and SpaceX's infrastructure development. This process necessitates broad cooperation between the public and interagency bodies ensuring SpaceX's advancements align with both environmental standards and commercial exploration interests. On June 20, 2024, SpaceX marked another significant milestone in its long-term collaboration with SES, a leading satellite operator headquartered in Luxembourg. The Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched the Astra 1P satellite into geostationary orbit, where it will replace four outdated satellites providing services across Europe. After a two-day delay due to adverse weather conditions, the rocket lifted off at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Time from Cape Canaveral Spaceport in Florida. Approximately 35 minutes after launch, the satellite was placed into a geostationary transfer orbit. This mission once again affirmed the reliability of SpaceX's landing and reuse technology. The booster used in this mission had previously flown eight times, including four missions serving SpaceX's Starlink broadband constellation. This achievement highlights SpaceX's remarkable flexibility and reuse capability, advancing SES, pioneering satellite operator, in its mission to connect the world. SES, a trailblazer in satellite communications, has partnered with SpaceX since 2013, ushering in a new era of collaboration between commercial satellite operators and private space companies. In 2017, SES further made its mark by becoming the first company to use SpaceX's reusable rockets significant step in demonstrating the commercial viability of reusable rocket. The Thales Alinea space-built Astra 1P satellite marks a significant upgrade to SCS's satellite fleet. Astra 1P is scheduled to begin service in January 2025, ensuring a seamless transition from SES's older satellites to the new Astra satellite. Collaboration between SES and the Astra satellite lineage has a long-standing history dating back to the late 1980s. Over the years, the Astra satellite cluster has grown into one of the largest and most important satellite networks globally, providing diverse services such as television broadcasting, broadband, and data relay. Equipped with 80 transponders, Astra 1P will replace SES's older satellites currently operating at the 19.2 degrees east position currently serving television services to approximately 119 million households across Germany, Spain, and France. And those are the highlights from today's broadcast. Please leave your comments on this episode and stay tuned for more exciting events in the journey to conquer space. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch more interesting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye and see you next time.